Hey, it's me again in my sh in my cave. My Rockstar cat Sharky here. Say hi, Sharky. Hi. Um, let's talk bags. Uh, as you might have seen on my new Instagram, um, I just posted a bag that I made. Me and bags have a long relationship of love and hate. Uh, I used to be a backpack kind of guy, backpack everywhere. Then I started wearing suits and backpacks became weird, so I started wearing uh, using business briefing cases. Um, but I always been trying to find the perfect bag for my for my lifestyle, right? Um, so the first one I fell in love with was this bag. This is a, a camera bag from Hakuba, um, photo manufacturing maker. The thing I love about this, it has a rigid frame on top, so it's like a doctor's bag that pops open. Um, I keep modifying my bag so it doesn't look like this now, but you know, uh, I mean, when you buy it. Um, so, but yeah, this rigid frame, I loved it. It pops open, it was super easy to get things in and out of the bag. The one downside I didn't like about this bag is that it had all this extra padding inside because it's a camera bag and I got rid of some of it, but in the end, I just kind of like, meh. And then I went through my tactical bag phase. Um, so I, you know, I got a whole bunch of sling bags, you know, all the molly strappings and everything. Uh, and I don't like sling bags. Sling bags are just, uh, they just don't work for me. Um, and then I found Vanquist Gear's messenger bag. I think it's this one is called the Envoy. Um, this bag, this bag is still one of my favorite bags that I ever owned. It's huge. Uh, it's very organized or uh, easy to organize. Uh, it comes with a shoulder strap that I have just taken off for now. Um, they have this great idea of, you know, you open up the top, go on to the main compartment, super easy the problem with this bag is that it's too big and what i end up doing is i end up packing so much that it becomes heavy and, and then i don't carry it everywhere because you know this on the train gets it's too big on the train um you know um this is i mean it's a good size bag uh, it's super comfortable if you can you know if you're looking for a super comfortable huge messenger bag um, this bag is my go-to. Um, I love the high-vis orange inside, um, you know, uh, that allows contrast. Um, yeah, still a great bag and I still would use it like for my short business trips. I'll, I'll just go with this one because uh, it carries everything I need for a two or three days uh, trip. Um, but for my everyday carry, I needed something smaller that was easier to organize when I get on the train and get off the train or on a cab in a cab and those bags both of them are too bulky and too big for me so then i found this one this is the magforth gemini bag um, this bag is uh, is almost perfect uh, i made some modifications like i changed the zip ties because i look the crappy zip ties or uh, zipper pulls um, and things like that um, and then i added and then um, i have a chrome industries cadet sling bag nine liters i still love that it's good for dad job you know a day in the park and whatever and i use it for that and i love the seat belt uh release that they have it makes it super easy for me to get in a crack cab and then unsling it and then just put it on the side i don't have to uh, go like you know undress my whole self to to get the bag off so what i did is i took the strap and i bought some seat belt extenders off of amazon and i created my own version so this bag is a shoulder bag you know pop it open shoulder comes off which makes it super easy when you get when you like get in a car and you want to take the bag off of you right um, and then it just slides in so it's super easy this bag has been my favorite bag for the last i would say three years or two two three years i've been using it um, it has just enough organization skills it's small enough so i don't pack enough uh, i don't pack it all, all the way to the full so it gets too heavy um, and you know i've been carrying this bag every day everywhere uh, literally so this is the best edc bag i ever had so far the one downside of this bag is it's small and what happens is that if i here's my one of my laptops but most of my laptops are this size so this is a uh, it's one of my laptops so what happens is that this bag the laptop will not go si in sideways so i have to put it in vertical so it sits like this right and it's okay the only problem is that it won't zip up now so if this bag was like another inch and a half or so wider, I would totally rock this bag all day long, my favorite bag. 
So <clears throat> this has been an annoyance for me because when I go on a job or you know when I go to work uh, to a client site, it, I'm gonna end up looking like this. Now ignore the unprofessionality of the laptop. This still looks pretty shitty having a laptop sit like. And then if you put it back down, it just kind of sits like more than half hour. And this is not something I wanted. So I finally tackled the problem by making my own bag, which pretty much encompasses all the features I have from all these bags that I had over the years. This is my man Toto tote bag. It's a sling bag, has a shoulder sling, a handle, um, seat belt buckle. Um, the inside is really just basically a bucket, but I did add some orange inside to make it easy to see. There's some small two pockets here. This is about the right organization that I need. I, I want to have a bag that I wanted a bag that I could just dump things in there um, and semi organize it so I know what's in there and what's not in there. But the rest I really like because the problem with all these tactical, all these modular bags that there are out there is that they have so many pockets. I put things in the pockets that I never find again. Um, as I was going through my bags uh, last week, uh, planning this new bag out, I found things that have been sitting there for, I don't know, five, six years because they're in a pocket that I never access to. So this time what I've done is it only has two pockets inside. Um, they're mesh net pockets, one big one and one smaller one, I guess. The rest, it's just basically a whole bag that just you dump things in there. So the, the philosophy behind this is is the Birkin bag. Um, Ellen Birkin, a famous actress, went to uh, Hermes, um, the, 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 you know, the, the high brand has said, I need a bag, I can just dump everything in there. I'm not organized enough to have all these organizational uh, division, dividers. I just want a bag I can dump things in there, which pretty much is this bag for me. So, um, you know, it, it, it's, it's a shoulder bag, it's pretty big. Um, this is a printed skull camo that I had that I was going to use for something else, but I had of it and you know, so I use that. Um, unique features, like I said, not much, it's just basically a bag you can dump things in there. Um, it has a strap that I can adjust the width to it so that you know, like I said, and then some velcro to close it down, mainly because I don't know how to zip zippers yet. And then it close down. Now, like I said, this bag is not for hostile environments. So if I'm going to go to a hostile environment, I'll go with any of the other bags. But for my EDC everyday use bag, this bag is going to be my bag for the next couple of months. I mean, I'll sure make some modifications as I go, but it carries everything that I need in there. And it solves one of the biggest gripes I have with the uh, Gemini bag is my laptop fully fits in there. So yeah. Bags are hard, man. Bags are hard. Find the perfect bag. It's like all of them have something too much and something not enough. So, um, but rather than keep buying bags, which my family is annoyed of because now I have, I have a couple boxes full of backpacks and different messenger bags that I've bought over the years. Um, and every time I say, maybe I need a new backpack, my family immediately goes, no. So, this time, I didn't buy one, I made one. Alright, hope you like it.